Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balrav Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today, we are going to see how to create a WordPress website using Azure App Services. So we are going to deploy this WordPress website using Azure Portal. So if we talk about WordPress, it is one of the best CMS out there in the world. If we talk about numbers, then around 42% of web pages which we visit is built using WordPress. And in the CMS world, 63% users uses the CMS is on the second place where others are Joomla, Drupal, Blogger, all included inside that others, right? It is one of the best CMS out there and a widely used CMS. So let's see how we can deploy very easily onto Azure. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and inside our resource group, which is named as a WordPress demo. Let's go ahead and click on create. In marketplace, let's search with WordPress. So there is multiple options will come, but we want to select provided by publisher uh, type provided by Microsoft. And once we select that, we will go ahead in WordPress on app services. Let's go ahead and click that. And here also we can see that this template is optimized with app services with best practices for security and performance. It is going to deploy all the resources which is required for running a WordPress service, including our app services and databases. And also it will configure CDN storage. Uh, we cannot connect this uh, SQL, MySQL from outside because it will create inside a network. So let's go ahead and create and see how it looks like. So I'm going to provide a fully qualified name. So this will be softest WordPress demo dot Azure website dot net. And we can change whatever plan we have right now. It is right now a standard one. And we can go if we have running a production related application, we can go for premium or it is free or hobby purpose. We can go for basic one depending upon need. So for this demo, I am keeping that default selection. And here we have to put our user and password. So this is our username. It already taken from my account, which is logged in. Now I'm going to put a password over there. And this password will be used when we will log in inside WordPress admin pages. So let's go ahead and next. And it is saying that Azure CDN recommended. So it will enable the CDN. Right now we are not enabling the front door. It will create a virtual network and isolate from other Azure services. Uh, it will put all these required resources inside that. So let's go ahead and put the tag. So tag is there. Now let's go ahead and review and create. Now let's click on create to create WordPress website in Azure. Let's wait some time because it is going to deploy app services and MySQL and MySQL server, flexible server it is going to deploy and then it is going to deploy Azure CDN and storage also. So let's wait some time and then it will come. So our WordPress resource has been created. Let's go to resource and see what different type of resources has been created in that resource group. So this is our WordPress app service. Let's go to this resource group and let's see. So it has created the app service plan where app service is hosted. Then it has also created Azure database for MySQL flexible server inside virtual network and private DNS zone and also CDN profiles and other things. So this is what already created. Let's go inside this app service. So this is our default domain. We can add custom domain if required. But let's browse this default domain and let's see how it looks like. So right now it says that please wait. WordPress is being installed. Installation might take in five minutes. Check back again soon. So it is now going to install the CMS and it is going to configure all the required setting into MySQL DB. So let's wait for five minutes. And also, if you notice this one, this is the publishing model is container and container can be found from this WordPress Alpine PHP that we can also try to find if required. And it is operating system in Linux. So now we can see that this is the sample page, the very first page. And now we can go ahead and see that all the details. And if we click on this one, uh, this is the home page uh, logo. So it will bring back to that. If we click on the page, 
let's see this is sample pages inside that now let's go ahead and see how we can go to admin pages and it is saying that one this is our your dashboard page right so let's go to dashboard page and here we can put our username and password when we created that we given one password and there was username also so i do remember that one so i'm going to put that name now this is admin dashboard for wordpress and we can see the user details and other things is coming this is the left side all the menus coming and we can go ahead and do different things based on how we can configure this wordpress for what if we suppose we want to create a new post for blog then we can go ahead and try to create a new post let's let me create a new post altogether so please and uh, we can put and then we can see the preview okay and this is how it is going to look like and now if i take this url and if i put into some private window to see how it is looking right now so let me browse that with private window so that we can see more details so right now we can see that this is hello world only one blog is there there is no other blog this is the default blog was there now let's go back to home page and now i'm going to publish this uh, the second one which i am testing wordpress is giving so i'm going to publish that and now it says that published uh, post published so now i'm going to refresh this and i'm going to see if my second blog is coming on that one so this is second blog game if i click that one i will go ahead and i can see the blog and people can give give the comment and other things and it will go and it is all back and managed on that our mysql which is installed here on this azure database for mysql flexible server so we can because it is right now inside a virtual network let's see that one this is the fully qualified domain server name we can go ahead and logging that one based on week we can go ahead and add the firewall settings and other things we can do right now it is the private access we can enable that one or add some some more details so right now it is enabled for only private access so we can create one virtual machine inside this network and then we can go ahead and, and connect with this server so this is for security purpose that generally database server should not be open from public that is how it should be deployed this is what i wanted to share that how easily we can go ahead and deploy a wordpress application inside azure thank you